finally back out here for a decent night. You saw in the other vid, I've got all the front end all blacked out on the tow truck. New set of guards for it. We'll wait and see how they go. A lot of people have good and bad reviews on it. So we'll see if they fit. If they do and they're pretty good, I may stick them on this truck as well. So all the parts, I'm hopefully going to get them blasted soon. It's also the hinges for the tow truck and there's a few other bits on there done as well. So hopefully just organising that. The other night I got out here for a little while, seen sealed all the bonnets, so where all the joins and the panels are, where the inner and outer skin meets. And the reason I did that was it seals it off from sort of the outside and also stops stuff from getting in under the inner skin here. And also when I get the cavity wax and spray inside between the two panels, it's going to keep it where I want it and not spray all over the outside all over the bonnet and that. So that's the reason I did that. Radio panels there, pretty much ready ready to go. So tonight's job is currently I'm working on this transmission cover. So this is the one out of that truck there, as you can see by the 50 million shifter holes. So what I'm doing is I'm actually using this one in the tow truck and the one in the tow truck is good on the one side and it's the side that I'm going to chop off and join to the one that's on the floor there. So the reason I'm using this one is it's still got the hole for the original four speed and that's what I'm going to be using for the tow truck. A lot of people have said run the auto but the four speed's got a really low first gear which is very handy to get the whole show rolling especially if you've got a trailer and a car on the back as well and I don't think the auto is really going to like it in some areas especially if you get a start up on a hill that's just yeah so back to the old four speed bit rougher to drive but it's an F truck I'll weld in a new piece in here seal that back up and then hopefully cut off the little stitches on this panel hopefully that'll free that back up and open this up so I can use it again so I've just cleaned up all underneath probably one of the worst things with the F trucks is this black sealant shit sticky than a virgin sock and just gets everywhere but what I found was prep sole or a good thinners tends to melt it and usually just get a an old rag some either either on it and yeah it tends to get rid of it pretty easy so I'll get into cutting this out getting this plate off and then yeah I'll build a new piece and get that it in. found a piece of steel, didn't have the bead roll in it, but it was a nice clean piece and I reckon I had guarded it with the Easy Foss. That's why it's still not rusty. So with this sort of bead roll here, instead of using the bead roller, all I did was just open the vise up and use the ball peen and just put that curve in it because it only needed to go to there to finish this line off. So sort of just been doing little small stitches 
instead of just pulling the trigger, reeling it back a bit. Instead of just tack, 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 because it's not really a structural piece. As long as it's stuck on, I'll be happy with that. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep the heat out of it as much as possible. If I went welding the whole thing, the thing would probably end up twisting and warping, and then you got to fit on the floor and it's all fitting like shit. Most people probably just go this far, run a bit of silicon around and call it done, but I might as well finish it off, do it properly, because I'm hoping it's yeah, going to stay there for quite a while. Same as I did with this one. You can just see it through here, but bottom side looks pretty good. So I've sealed up the other holes as well, so I'll grind them down. And yeah, I'll just have to get something in there, band in the trough. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't weld like this if it was a like on a quarter panel or something that you you really want straight, you're better off just doing the tacks. Would have been good to try the new welder out, but I haven't organized a wall plug for it. Because, yeah, they want someone trained to uh, hook it up. So I'll just self train and get one Monday. But for now, the old job is still doing, doing its thing. So yeah, I'll get this knocked out. And then yeah, we can start looking at the tub again. So it's all cleaned up, welded, went a lot further than what I thought I was going to, but what I'll do is I'll just prep sole it and prime it with the etch primer. It's not really a, hit, a crucial piece, so the etch primer in the can should be more than fine. You can sort of see there's sort of that section, and then there's my section that I've just done. So I can sort of see my previous work to what it is now, so my previous work's got a little bit ordinary in the welds and stuff because what I would have done was just left in the truck and welded a piece in there. Would have had oil and shit underneath and just, yeah, would have been not the greatest way to do it. It's a bit warped and everything, but straighten it out best I can. The reason I did that was because I probably had to get to work or something the next day. Now I've got a bit more time. Yeah, I've been able to do a lot nicer. Also, my work's improved a little bit over the years. This is probably a good five years ago. So, yeah. Four speed holes, good to go again. And these all fairly cleaned up, good enough. So you get all this stuff here, but what I'll do is I'll just get that silicon, or the Sigaflex, sorry. And then what I'll do is a bit of a trick is you smear it on and you always see it. So what you do is Wet your finger up, run over it again, and it flattens flattens your run out. Makes it look a hell of a lot neater, so. But it's not crucial, because there's a big transmission gonna be covering all here, so. But it's just something extra you can do to make your work look a little bit nicer, especially if you're um, doing panels that are overlapping, you just wanna seal that edge. And yeah, also around this edge here, where that sealant was, I'm just gonna get some sticky adhesive back like sealant strip and just stick it on so if I ever have to pull this cover off just undo it and it pulls off screw it back down it seals again it's not stuck to the floor like it was originally it doesn't need to be one job out of the way it's ready for some black mastic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that same time as I probably do the floor possibly the chassis and also the inside of the front guards just so that I've got one run of paint going get it all out of the way and it's done then so the job on now is to get this front beam welded in so I've just spent the last while measuring trying to figure out where this thing's going to be centre and the way it's looking is these lines in the floor are pretty accurate where the floor joint is. So I sort of based it off that. And also going off the original mounts in the bottom panel there, or bottom beam. What's left of it. So I'll tack the floor to it, get that pulled down. As you can see, it's got a bit of a pressure to come up just because it's the way it's been sitting. That's why I've been wanting to get this beam welded in, try and get some sort of structure back in this tub so what I'll do after that is then I'll start figuring out what I'm going to do with the quarters so 
It sat in 15mm on the driver's side, but that doesn't always mean that the driver's side needs to go 15mm out. What needs to happen is the overall width was too small, but the tub was actually over one side, so it lined up with the passenger side, driver's side sat in. So what I'm going to have to do is try and get both quarters to come out 7.5mm or near about to make up that 15 and that match should straighten up that step in. The perfect idea would be to have the cab set up so I could sit it there, line the tub up behind it and set it all up like that. Pull it back and forth, keep checking. But I'm not really in that position so everything's pretty much basically where it used to be anyway. Once it's all squared up and good I should be able to do the top and get the top beam in. After a shitload of measuring and a lot of head scratches. The old crusty beams out. Send that off the scrappy, what's left of it. New beams in, tack to the floor. Got a couple of bits of RHS holding the bottoms of the quarters so they don't drop and they stay in place. Before I cut it all apart, I measured the tub. So you can sort of see the side shape. I measured to each distance, and that was fairly close, and then I just added me 15, and yeah, got fairly close. Most measurements were pretty bang on, but I also decided to check the cab, so what I did was combination square on the inside here. It might be the straightest thing, but it's the best you're gonna get with one of these. So what I did was set it up there, had the ruler come off that point there, out this way and it met flush level with the end of the combination square and then all I did was measure so the inside of that little lip there down to here and that gave me my length so then all I did was measure from that side of that lip that edge there to the other side got 1650 and then added yeah, two times the measurement I just got with the combination square. All in all, most was pretty close. And yeah, most of the tubs now ended up within probably a mil of what the cab is. So pretty, pretty bloody close. Gonna be good enough. Also, if I'm making it wider, I had to extend this beam here. So the, the way I did that was I cut it, got another piece of tube, sleeved it, Welded on one side and then pulled it out, got it to where I wanted and then vice grips locked it on. So once I was happy with where it was and where I needed it, just a couple of good tacks. So that will hold that for the moment and then once the firewall and everything goes in, all I've got to do is just cut them, get rid of it. So I've got this beam sort of prepped up ready to go. What I gotta do is cut the ends. So I've just got some bits of 25mm, 3mm flat. Just uh, taper the edge, try and get the weld in there. So yeah, that'll just go on the end like that. Weld it on, grind it up, and then yeah, I'll shorten all these pieces as well. So it'll fit in there, so I'll just have to weld around that. And then that's all joined together. And then I've just got to figure out the tube as well. So I've still got a few of these little uprights there, over there, so this beam should be right to do the job. And then yeah, once all that's together, I weld it all together. And then yeah, weld it to the tub. the sides, measured the ends, made sure they were the right distance apart, did a diagonal, made sure that was pretty square. The tub itself probably won't be square but I 
should have enough room to sort of move it around and make sure it's going to work. So all I did was just weld the outside because once it's welded in I won't be able to get to it. The other three sides I should be able to. But with it like that I should be able to sort of pull it back or forth just to suit the tub and everything. I'm just going to set up the front rail now. So probably 45 of it. And then yeah, run it along the front. And then put the uprights on as well. And then I'll, yeah, I'll take it out, flip it over, and then put it back on the tub and see how we're sitting. Got the job done. So it's all in there. Just gonna do some little plates at the end here and right along the top of the quarter. And then they're fully in. But structural wires are all fully welded, so stiffen the tub right up, which is good. And it's sort of yeah, finished it off pretty nicely. The only thing is it's spewing a little bit because I had the left hand and the right hand marked out, and obviously they got mixed up, falling down all the time when I've been working on it and whatnot. So yeah, the worst side of the world is sort of on the outside, just not really wanting to do that, but anyway, it is what it is. Kind of worked out alright because it sort of kicked, it was meant to kick outwards, but now it's kicking inwards. It's kind of lined up with the rear upright and whatnot a lot better, so it's probably not a bad thing. Just yeah, it means that the world's aren't as pretty. Probably more like something I'll build anyway. Just gonna do tubs. Core to work, so the rust. And yeah, the uh, tub mounts. I'll get it all ready to go. And yeah, we should be pretty close to having this thing knocked over. Yeah, not a bad night, got a bit done. Got this thing seam sealed. So yeah, time to go home and I'll try and get back out next week and see what else we can.